Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and I'm a My Loves UGB here on Flosstube. Also over on Instagram and Etsy as well. This is still not the Sunday morning briefing. This is Flossmas, day 8, the 8th of December. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, it's been another busy day, another long day at school, but I'm back. It's quite late in the evening. I've got some stitching to show you. I've got some advent calendars to open. I've made a couple of little things that I want to share with you. A freebie, a little bit of finishing, and I've got one piece of haul. So let's crack on and see what have we been up to. So as always, let's start off with, it's in here, there's two of them in here. Sat doing a bit of this this evening while I was waiting for the uh, production. So I have been and finished the whole part this time, not just the bit that I could be bothered to count, the whole part of yesterday's uh, Roxy Floss Co. Modern Folk Embroidery Evertote. I still haven't done the date in the middle, but everything else is up to date, looking fabulous, looking fabulous. So I can't wait to see what is in the envelope today, where we're going with this today. And I also remembered to take the pattern for the other stitch that I'm doing. Let me show it to you in case this is the first time you've joined on with me today. This one, which was A. Robson. Uh, 1897, the chart that we were given at the Great British Sampler weekend. And I remember to take the chart, as I said, that helped enormously. And I have now finished the top two rows. And I'm hoping to get a couple more rows done. Although I am kind of fancying a change. I might put this back away again. But this is stitched on a piece of 36 count wood smoke by Tabby Cat Linen, which is kind of a, a really lovely sort of greeny grey. And it's not a million miles away from the Roxy Flosco colour. So there's that one, there's, there they are together. So they're not a million miles away from one another. In fact, let's just do a proper compare rather than a, a wave it in the air and see what happens. There we go not far off thank you very much for the love for the headgear i shall definitely be wearing that one again it is one of my favorites um it does flash fla flash faster than i had it on last night but i don't want to don't want to set anybody off <laughs> so there's that so let's have a look let's have a look and see Ooh, let's not lose those got things rolling about what number eight brings Have a look what is the color oh oh my word sommelier look at that that is a sight to behold and let's see what it says quick check in the bag no we're all good december the 8th it's time for a little music again i won't listen to it on double speed I hope you'll enjoy today's offering. Pictured above is a skating peasant by Peter Jantz Quatst. Peter Jantz Quatst from about 1634 to 1638. When I was young, I learned to skate on exactly this type of wooden skate. The metal skate is set in a wooden platform, which is then tied with ribbons onto regular shoes. All you need now is a frozen river to skate away on. That's a great image. That is a great image. <gasps> Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. So we're coming all the way down. We're going to find the bottom of the chart. There's going to be some bits that I'm not going to count. <laughs> so what I am going to count isn't going to take me a massive amount of time, I don't think. But that's good. I'm loving the size of these stitches absolutely loving the size of them they're just perfect for an evening so looking forward to doing that right let's have a look at a past stitch a past stitch and it is still in the little bag that it came in so this is heart in hand this came as a kit it's the 2023 collector's heart 
And the reason it's still in the bag is because it does have a little button which goes on it, a little square button just like that. Um, there's the, the chart and the floss was this one, Cottage Garden Threads Leather Bound, which is like a really dark red. It looks totally different to the actual picture, I have to say. And I remember thinking that when I stitched it and it is folded up. Is this Vintage Country Mocker? I think it is. I think so. Like I say, I bought it as a kit, so. Oh, it's Heartland, beg your pardon. And that's what it looks like. So I just need to attach this here. I loved stitching this. I absolutely love stitching it. There are quite a few personalizations that I seem to remember in it, but it all fits in the square. It all fits in. We'll leave it at that. So yeah, I really should get on to finishing that. Love it. But quite a lot darker than the image might suggest using the kit. So, but yeah, I'm going to keep my eye out to see what the 2024 collector's heart might look like because I really like that. Do -do -do. I'm going to put that back away later. This whole room at the moment is currently, I'm going to put it away later. <laughs> right, number eight, numero eight. I know I found it earlier, underneath the Santa hat just there next to this rather joyful looking woman who has a fancy glittery plant now we had unexpected nuts yesterday what have we got today oh, a beautiful elephant now if that was in red thread you'd say that was a bristol elephant look at that so lovely i do like this advent calendar Now, I want to show you something I've made. I made it earlier on today. I've been seeing these around on various different Instagrams and things like that. And I thought, I think I can have a go at making some of those. So last time we went to the woods, I collected some little acorn caps. And I thought I might have some of the little wooden, wooden, woolen balls that was to fit, but mine were too big. So I ordered some more and they came today. So I've just very quickly made up some little acorn, if it will focus on them, some little acorn pins. How cute are those? So, so simple to make, but I think they look fab. Most of my acorn caps actually are slightly bigger than these. So I'm gonna order some more of the felt balls and make some bigger ones. So these are, as I say, just for the smallest ones. These are the one centimetre um, felt balls and I ordered them just in autumn colours. But I think for most of the caps that I've got, I'm gonna need the centimetre and a half ones. And these are made, these are just hat pins, um, just made on hat pins. Now you can get proper pins that aren't as long as these and I think they would be okay because you're not making a huge big top to them so the pins wouldn't necessarily need to be as long as those but they are hat pins and you could always put a couple of little beads on the bottom as well to make them even more smashing but I can't wait to find something autumnal to put those into I think they're lovely super easy and to keep the theme, sorry about that, that was a rather unexpected sneeze. To keep the theme, this is the freebie for today. Happy Fall Acorn by Robin Pickens. And I got this from the Fat Quarter Shop. They have got some great freebies on their site. Really, really good source of freebies. So it's all stitched in DMC, 46 wide by 66 high. So I may even make that into a little pillow and then add some little acorn pins to it. I think that would be really, really nice. And a really cute little, oh, what would you, a really cute little small. My little bit of haul is 
the first of the cottage garden samplings houses. This is Santa's house. Now I don't have anything to stitch this on at the moment. I haven't dyed my fabric yet. Um, it's charted to go on to um, 40 count prehistoric by Fox and Rabbit, but I shall do mine on 36 count. I've got the threads for this one and the next one, but what I shall probably do is stitch it with one thread on 36 count, but for the white, I think I'm going to use Sulky. So that's just going to make the white just that little bit thicker, which I think will help to make it stand out. And I might go for just very slightly darker linen, very slightly darker, but I love that. Because I finished the last one, <laughs> the one that I started two years ago. I, I finished that. Right, where did I put it? Did I not even get it out? I tell you, my brain is playing tricks on me. I've just spent five minutes looking for something that I was convinced I'd got out ready for this and it was still in the box. So. This is number eight from the Marks and Spencer's advent calendar. So let's have a look and see what we've got. No clues on the box. Oh, it's a little tube. Oh, Philip Kingsley elasticizer, restoring conditioner. I really like these. They're great for taking on retreats. I do like the Philip Kingsley things. Really nice. So usually, I say usually in these in these boxes, you get a shampoo, a conditioner and an elasticizer somewhere along the line. But mind you, the rate at which my hair's falling out at the moment, I think I'm going to be bald by Christmas anyway. So we shall see. Anyway, that's it from me. Short and sweet. Tomorrow I'll let you know what the production was like. I have a feeling it's going to be fabulous. Stay classy, Stitchers.